Let's get Hum here, since she's the one who knows Dario. And Memento Pendant. Me 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 Memento Pendant. Talk. <laughs> just talk. Don't go through the menus, just talk. Got it. World hop in time again. So, let's get into this. Let's finish off the side quest so that we can back to killing dragons. Gosh. Um, but, I've been hyping up this side quest, and then I realized there was more to it than I actually thought. But hey, we got Nicola's level, uh, level 7 tech, which by the way, I need to equip. So uh, I'm gonna just uh, do that real quick. So let's let's hop in. It's not gonna take long, so I won't bother skipping it. Uh, we'll just hop in right now and do it. So, elements allocate Nicola, and we allocate somewhere over here axiomatic. Let's do this. All right. It's got that tech there. Oh boy. I am just like mentally preparing for what is to come in this whole side quest. It's it's a it's a trip for sure. So let's just head on over here to the Forbidden Island. I don't know why it's called Forbidden Island. It's a little it's a little interesting to me why this random island in the middle of nowhere is just called Forbidden Island. There's no signs that say don't enter or anything. It's just... It's forbidden. Alright, we'll go back up. Now that we have our lovely um, pendant, let's get Hum here, since she's the one who knows Dario. And Memento Pendant. Me me Mento pendant. Talk. <laughs> just talk. Don't go through the menus, just talk. Got it. This pendant is a memento from your mother. And a gift you gave me when we got engaged. This is... Try to remember. Oh look! Um, Danny is here. We've been together since we were little. And we will continue to be... I will always be there for you, Dario. Hum. R run. Arg. Hum. Hum. That's right. Hum. Th this is bad. But what? What's wrong? No, don't touch it. Ah! What the? What the? The Masamune. Dario. No, Dario, do not touch that sword. Too late. My sword now. Um, my sword thirsts for your blood. I knew it. Masamune never actually disappeared from Death Gate. It just returned to its rightful owner. Wait a minute, then that means Dario's still. What really happened? I thought Dario died fighting demons on the Isle of the Damned. Actually. Boom, boom, boom. We get the truth now. Is that Masamune? Walk, 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 walk. Dario, what do you think you're doing? Die. Death to all living creatures. There's Gry. Don't tell me it's that sword. Dario, let go. Shh. 
Stop, Dario. It's me, Nicola. Kill me, Nicola. Hurry. N no Do it, Nicola, or else I'll... No, Dario, I can't. Please step out of it, Dario. <laughs> you idiot. I gave you a chance. You cannot beat me. You are but a mere mortal. Who the... First, I will dispose of you, and then... Hum. I shall let the Masamune sate itself on Hum's blood. <laughs> Dang you! Ah! And that's where the strike comes from. Dario, what have I done? Pathetic fool. Y you are. Dario was killed by demons. Understand, Nicola? But... Are you going to tell everyone about what you just did? Are you willing to tell Hum that you murdered Dario because he was possessed by the evil sword? Ah! Do not worry. Do as I say and everything will be just fine. Lynx just casually picks up the sword. Yeah, so that's really interesting. Like, it wasn't his hate that really brought that forward. Dario was possessed by the enemy of the Masamina, too. Prepare yourselves. Sorry, that goes fast. I was not paying attention. I guess there's no way out of this. I cannot face Dario in battle. To abolish his darkness, we must defeat the Masamune. It's the only way to save Dario. And there's Garai. Face the enmity of my sword. And much though the uh, setup there looks like it, no, we don't get to have Danny join us as well in this battle and do a 4v1. It's just 3v1. Uh, so, important things to note Dario hits like a truck. He also has counters. He has a black in it. Um, which means that honestly, it would be so great to attack him with white elements. However, let me just, uh, nope, uh, got one here. Nope, got one here. Nope, um, you know what? I can do it with Hum. So there's a reason I put the black plate on her because if I cast a white element onto Dario, this is what happens. He responds with a black tech skill. That does massive amounts of damage. It will insta-kill. However, you can also do things like fire pillar red element and he will counter with things like numble that's right status affecting ones instead of damaging ones this is going to be your best tactic like hands down your physical attacks are not going to hurt him as much as it would be nice so your best thing hands down is going to be Maybe have hum, or, or whoever you have equipped with the white or with the black plate. Maybe have them do white elements, but for the most part, just attack it with like red elements, and you'll get numble. And I think that's like with most of them too that it's just like you get status affecting ones like that instead of full on your dead tech skills. So as long as you don't cast white elements at him, you know, you're fine. And I actually forget what happens if you cast black elements at him. Alright, dash and gash. 
Yeah, that hurts. You notice how much that hurts. Tack up with that. Uh, let's just... Let me just boop this real quick. Here we go. Uh, cure plus. On links. So the big thing. The biggest issue here in this fight is going to be that Dario hits like a truck. So. You know, I'm going to see what happens if I hit him with the black element. He probably heals it. He does not, but it does like nothing. And he responds with a coverall. On himself. Okay. Don't do that. Note to self, do not cast any black elements. Um... About green. I don't actually know what all of these do. Probably should have figured this out ahead of time, but it is too late now. But we get to see Nicola's level 7, which is pretty sweet. Does not do much damage. Low res. Okay. I can handle that. I can handle that. Uh, so yeah, it's just... Your best strategy is just basically beat him up. Uh, cast non-black or white elements at him. And hope for the best. Uh, I'm kind of building up to a recover all at this point. Because everybody but Hum needs it. Alright. Let me just get in a nice attack here. And recover all. Okay. So yeah, basically just like red's good, green's good. Gosh, blue probably does something with like weaken and I would imagine attacking with yellow would give you like bad eye so really red's a pretty good red's a pretty good choice because that just takes down your evade percentage and like honestly how often is he missing you anyway not very he does come up and do physical attacks though which is the big issue here going to be a huge issue. That's not going to be helpful. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a very big issue. Um, because Hum is so weak to this. Like, if he dashes and gashes her, that's fine. But if he physically attacks her, she's going to be dead in, like, two swings. Um, so the big things I would say are keep her, keep her up, Sonic Sword. Oh boy. On Nicola. Alright, so the big thing though is, like, that was not what I wanted to do. It was definitely not what I wanted to do. Now I'm mad. Oh, now I gotta do this all over again. Well, at least I showed you guys everything. So now I don't have to show it all again. Um, but yeah, so the big thing is gonna be if you need heals, cast a white element at him. Um, from Hum, huh, specifically. Anyone else, you need to actually heal. Um, but for Hum specifically, basically, if she needs heals, just cast a white element on him. And that's gonna be her method of healing up. So everyone else, here's basically my strategy is going to be Hum is going to perish, apparently. Yikes. So, Hum, uh, my strategy is to have her. You know what? I just, I literally just said this. Did I not literally just say what I needed to do? I swear, me sometimes. Anyway. So. My strategy with her is going to literally just be cast white elements. This is where I'm going to get a lot of my damage from, is from her. I'm going to cast white elements in order to get him to heal her. And as long as I keep casting elements at him on a pretty regular basis, I should be fine. So I need to remember not to waste my healing elements on her. 
because I literally can just have her cast a white element at him and be healed. Granted, once I run out of white elements, that's where it starts getting an issue, but you know, for the most part, pretty much fine with that. So I just want to have her attacked up. Dash and Gash, please be on hum. Aw, oh, heck yes! See, 708 healing. This is such a beautiful, this is why the colored plates are so important to steal, because they are so useful. Especially if you're going into battle against um, an enemy, like for instance Dario, a boss, uh, and you're bringing someone of the opposite in it. Like, they're not going to fare very well against the boss's attacks. Ow! Stop! Ah! This is the one issue. This is the one issue. Alright. Come up. The one issue is that she cannot take a beating. So, she's got to do things like meteorite on Dario um, in order to stay healed. Like, she... Physical attacks are going to be my, uh, my enemy here. Which is why I need to try and keep Dario focused on other people to slash his sword at. Like, for instance, hi there. Want to cast Numble on me? You want to do it? It'll be fun. Um, so yeah, that's basically my strategy is like red elements, green elements. Um, actually, yeah, green elements for uh, Nicola and Lynx. And then Hum can just white element away and take that go ahead and take that uh, front. She's gonna run out anyway, I might as well just meteorite again. The good thing would be to get her up so that she can do a, up high enough element wise so she can do a holy light. Because um, that would be a really good one to do. And then Basically, just try and get the other ones up to do things like Lynx has Infernos. Um, get Nicola's Techs out there would also be good things. Physical damage is really not your friend in this fight, so don't count on it. Sonic Sword on Hum? Heck yeah! Heal me! Yes, sucker. Alright, let's get over to Lynx. Um, Mangla Burst. So yeah, just anything but black and white elements, really. I think the other four elements are all status ones. So they're much easier to deal with than his usual counter, which is like insta-kill anyone who casts white elements on him. Uh, so, we'll attack up with her... Of course it missed. Alright, um... Let me do some pokes. And then bump over to Nicola. And Axiomatic, because why not? Basically... Oh, he's... He's already sagging. This is beautiful. Or he was, I thought. I guess that's just how the tech works. My bad. I thought he was sagging, and I was happy. Poke. And nope. Poke. Pretty soon here. I should have it. Um, one more. Poke. Nope. Stop. Okay, that's that's different. I think Lynx will survive. Just a thought. Um, how about some holy light? Don't you just love a good holy light, Dario? Just like straight up to the face and just so purifying and ah, oh, 330 damage. That's so beautiful. Makes me happy. But unfortunately, yeah, Hum is the only one who's going to be able to do it this time. Maybe in like your third playthrough of the game, once you've beaten the black dragon three times and gotten three black plates, you can just literally 
you can breeze through this by just casting white elements from everyone instead of having to uh, rely on, for instance. Yeah, let's do this. Ice blasts and infernos and whatnot from two of your characters. Weaken, yep, I, I, that was the one I thought. Oh no, my physical attack that was doing practically nothing to begin with is still doing practically nothing. I'm shocked and appalled. Alright. No, no, no. Okay, dash and gash on Riddle? Sorry, hum? Nope. That hurts. That actually hurts a lot. It's really interesting to notice how a black tech skill does that much damage. And that was the one with the remaining revive. Cool. So, Arrow Blaster plus three. Basically, the name of the game now is hope that there are no physical attacks against Tom. Because unless unless he pulls up short, she's screwed. Uh, I think I'm out of weight attack spells except for like super low, so I'm gonna go I'm actually gonna move into doing infernos as well. And hopefully Hopefully between the two of them, Hum and Nicola can take out Dario. This is a tough fight. So the salt and pepper one's easy. This one is tough. And with very good reason. It is absolutely worth the fight, uh, as you'll see whenever I finally get through this. Like, I recommend doing this. Don't shy away from this at all. Just because it's a hard fight is not a reason to shy away. Ah, you crit. You son of a gun. Alright. So, instead of axial axing, I am going to heal all. Because Nicola needs it at least. Goodness knows Hum doesn't, but life. Uh, and then she is going to... Uh, ice Blast. Um. Oh yeah. Definitely do this fight. I was like, what was I saying? Definitely do the fight. Don't just decide not to do it. Um, because it's a side quest. Like, this is absolutely worth it. This is 150% worth it. Um, despite the fact that it is a very difficult battle. Because Dario hits like a truck. Like I said, Hum is going to be able to stand up to anything he does as far as tech skills. Which unfortunately, Nicola and Lynx less so. The physical attacks are going to be her downfall though. The physical attacks will more than be her downfall. Uh, Kira plus on self. Um, so, that is the one thing you need to watch out for. You need to make sure that you keep your party healed up. Try not to let one of your people with the revives die before they use the revive, but uh, a little late for that now. I guess we'll Electra Bolt. The reason I keep uh, going completely out with them is because his counter resets my stuff, so I know what he's going to do. That's exactly what I expected. Which is a little bit unfortunate. So that would be the one that I actually would recommend not doing um, of the status ones, is try not casting yellow elements. Just simply because um, you need a good hit percentage in order to get elements. So at the very least with Riddle, try, or Hum, try to avoid that. Honestly, your best bet is probably going to be a lot of um, green elements. Actually, green elements are probably not green, because that lowers your defense. Um, blue. Red. Specifically red. Uh, would be a really good one. 
I'm just going to keep throwing elements at him. One of these days he'll die, right? Gosh, I will be so glad when I see him, like, sag. And as long as the tech skills come at, at home, I'll be okay, but they haven't been. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Honey. Why? Why you do this to me? Alright, we'll have to heal her. I don't have anything to remove blue status effects. Please on her, please on her, please on her. <gasps> yes! Suck it! I mean, it doesn't do me tons of good, but suck it anyway. Um, get some low res in here. If he physically attacks Nicola, Nicola's dead, let's be honest. But, as long as we can keep being distractions, that will be helpful. And eventually, Hum will unfreeze. Okay, you know what? You can still take- he can still take a beating better than Hum can. So, no regrets. So let's do recover all. I know only he needs it, but uh, it does not hurt. On hum? Nope. Ooh, I'm so glad I healed him. Alright. Let me attack up here. And eventually, there we go. Like, eventually hum's gonna break out of it, right? Alright, got a couple attacks in. Let's inferno it soon, please. I don't like doing this battle with only two people. It makes it a lot more difficult. <gasps> He's sagging! He's sagging! We're so close! Ah, oh, I'm pumped. Alright. Inferno number two. And his response will reset my stuff. I can attack up a little bit with Hum. is literally just how it's gonna go. Alright, attack up a little bit with Hum. Um, do, 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 do. Magma bomb. Attack up with Nicola. Element. Like, this is just my strategy right now. Is just try and try and keep him constantly retaliating as much as possible. Uh, now we can Magma Burst. Okay. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. This is a very stressful battle for me. <laughs> just because I had Lynx die like so early on that I'm just on edge about everything. Alright. Um, I'm gonna need you to attack once. Of course I only get first levels. Photon Ray. Let's heal me up. Heal me up, Dario. Uh, I keep hoping that every hit will be the last now that he's uh, sagging. But instead, I'm just gonna get blasted with tons and tons of energy. All right, perfect. I was hoping that would bring him up. Alright. Arrow Blaster. Each and every counter is a step closer to your death. Aw, oh, that did 144 damage. I was really hoping. I was really hoping there. Alright, you have almost a full attack cycle provided if he doesn't interrupt it. Do that. Element. Inferno. Please die. Please, but not actually. You know, please just, please be defeated. Yes! I was like, it's, it's Hum's lover. I don't want him to, like, actually die, but I do want him to be defeated. Oh, that battle is tough. 
It is definitely on par with the dragon battles, which is why you should wait until you are in the middle of or done with the dragon battles to face this. Um, you need to be at that level of stuff. And that's also the point in the story when you can do this in the first place. So yeah. Oh, buddy. Yes, I know. Lynx is dead again. What a shock. Hmph. It appears the Masamune found a new master. What? Lynx? Do not panic. Look around you. Birds! The birds that fled are coming back! I no longer sense the slightest bit of malice for the Masamune. There is no more fear of succumbing to its enmity. <sighs> you awake, Masa? Yeah, but... Uh, looking back, I think we've done something terrible. <laughs> no one will know if we don't tell. Wait for it, wait for it. Hey, what were you two up to? Yikes, it's Doreen. N nothing, we don't remember a thing. Hmm, I see. Well, just to make sure you're not up to some any mischief, I'm coming along. All right, how many centuries has it been since the three of us got together? Okay then, let's go. So yep, we've got Masa, Mune, and Doreen. Heck yes. <laughs> Lynx's sea swallow transformed into the master Mune. So his base weapon is now his most powerful weapon. Where am I? Hum. Is that you, Hum? What happened to me? Dario, thank goodness. Your memory has returned. Memory? Oh, yes. I had taken a hold of the Masamune when... Forgive me, Nicola, for what I have put you through. Ah, forget about it. This is why it's also nice to have Nicola in your party to do this. Honestly, this is probably my favorite party to do this with story-wise. Um, so yeah. My recommendation, you can do what you want, but you do need to have Hum in your party. Which is why I highly recommend having the black plate and having it on her. Although your memory has returned, let us not forget the harsh reality which lies in wait. Come. Ah, so you'll be leaving. I have been prepared for this day. Farewell. I wish you all the best. And she leaves. So, everyone is hurt and separated. Inexperienced and incomplete. However, by living as such, we may change for the better into something bigger. Something more gentle. So, in this world, things are a little crazier with the manor than they were in another world. My goodness, what has happened during my absence? Where have the general and the others gone? Hum, you said that you all came from another world. Then where are Nicola, you, and the others in this world? Unfortunately, no one from Viper Manor who went to the Dead Sea will return. Why did the General and the others go to such a dangerous place? In search of the Frozen Flame. They were swallowed up by a terminated timeline and have perished along with the Dead Sea. <sighs> How ironic it is. How ironic that it is I who have survived. But Daria, you still have me. Hum. We may be from different worlds, but you are you, and I am I. Yo, that's right. I'm alive and kicking too. Let me break in on this tender moment. There ain't no one who can take my life. <laughs> Trevor and Rose are here too. We can also call the old dragon stable keeper. Thank you, everyone. I guess you are right. I am alive. And I will do whatever I must do. I do not know how many years it will take, but... I will rebuild Viper Manor. It is my duty. My, my, my. Perhaps it's about time I came out of retirement. Time for one last hurrah. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, yeah. Bring it on. Even though we may be from different worlds, the four divas are back in business. But maybe minus one. 
I don't think you're fit for battle yet. Forgive me. Four years of isolation have taken their toll. Are you alright? Hum. I want you to take this. Received Hum's snake fangs. That's right. Not only did this side quest give us Nicola's level 7 tech skill and the Masamune, we also get Hum's level 7 tech skill. It's great. Please rest up and just concentrate on rebuilding Viper Manor. Thank you. I shall do so. Of course, I will help you too. Plus, I have an idea. <laughs> so, this side quest... Like I said, that battle is 150% worth it because you get the Masa frickin' Mune. And Hum's level 7. Like, absolutely worth it. So, I wonder... I don't think they have a description for this. Uh, let me sort by in it attribute color first. Ah, uh, White Cobra's power... Oh, yes. White Cobra's power will recharge some elements. This is is so freaking useful you can use different element like you can use elements again and not just these lovely um, consumable ones it's actually beautiful so highly recommend doing this it is a good idea and with that and having figured that out um i'm going to exit out and next time we're gonna get back to our fun dragon fighting times because we have two more dragons to take on. We got the fire dragon and then we have the sky dragon. So next time we will start on our path towards taking on the fire dragon. See you then.